What's up guys, it's your boy Jay on the Segway. So today's video is gonna be basically on what you guys seen in the on the thumbnail. Uh, this back shield. Yeah, that thing right there. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, if you go to the website, there is two different versions of this. I do not have a, uh, a discount link. I'm just doing this video on my own accord, you know, through my own money. I bought it myself. I was watching uh, another guy who does YouTube videos named Tall Guy Car Reviews, and he mentioned this thing, and he said it was pretty good. Now, I drive for a living, so things like that and health, you know, eating right, I kind of look at those type of things. You know, I'm trying to make sure I'm doing what I need to do so that my body doesn't deteriorate, you know, a lot faster than it could, given the type of, you know, condition that my body's usually in when I'm driving. So I went on ahead and said, you know what? Let me give this thing a try. It was like 80 something bucks with the discount. This thing's pretty good. It has its pluses and its negatives, right? But you have to look at it openly when you're looking at the positives and the negatives when it comes to this thing. Now, straight off the rip, let's just start with the negatives because most people like to see it a negative of anything first, is it can get uncomfortable after a while. And what do I mean with that or by that? is my first I'd say my first two weeks of using it in my truck and I'm trying I'm, I'm, I'm slowing it down a little bit because I'm trying to be very careful in what I say because you know context is everything after maybe like three hours it started to get uncomfortable but I think it got uncomfortable because in my semi, it's a really big seat, as you guys can imagine, in, in a truck. It, the seats are a little bit bigger than like in a car like this one, for example. Uh, it moves around. So if you're one of those people who move around a lot, for example, when you're driving, um, you gotta make sure you make these things very tight. It does have Velcro straps and everything, and the straps are very secure. The straps do not come apart. They stretch a lot. So when you're wrapping this around whatever seat you're going to wrap it around, whether it's in your car, whether it's in your office chair, whether it's at home, if you like to sit on, you know, like the old school people have an old school rocking chair, I probably wouldn't put it on that, but you can because of these little straps that wraps around the seat are really, they, I mean, they, they got probably more of a wrap span than my arms do. So they'll wrap around virtually any seat, literally. I mean, even a recliner, but you're not going to put something like this on a recliner, okay? Uh, usually I'm thinking office chairs and in your automobiles. This thing itself, it moves around. So, you know, you'll probably sit with it on your back and then you'll feel, you know, you get a feel for, you know, how much it's moving and you'll tighten it again. And you'll keep tightening it and tightening it until it's tight enough so it doesn't move on you very easily. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit on how it should look in comparison to the actual seat that you're actually strapping it to. Let me set my cruise control. So I'll show you guys a little quick snippet or, you know, like a little very short uh, video on how it should look when you guys actually put it around your seat. It should follow the contours of the actual seat that you're going to wrap it to. But um, that's one negative is that it will move around and it will get a little uncomfortable. It's one of those things that you have to break in because it's gotten comfortable the more I've used it. I've used this thing for about a month now. I figure, you know, I've had it long enough to make a review on it so you guys kind of have an idea on, you know, if it's for you or not. I, um, it started breaking in. It's a little more comfortable now. The material is kind of like a rubbery material. Let me see, what can I compare that to? Almost like a tire, like a bicycle tire. A worn one, those really soft ones. It's got that nice soft rubber material, so it's very grippy. You're not gonna slide around on it very easily. You can, you know, if you force yourself to slide, or actually it kind of is like a little back massager too. Like, kind of like you got an itch in your back, you can kind of move your back on it. And it's got so much grip that it'll, you know, it'll, it'll make your clothes stick to it, but your clothes will rub up on your back like if you got an itch or something like that. Just have to throw that out there. Uh, this thing is really good. Uh, another thing I don't like about it, but it's, it's like, duh. If you look at the thickness of it, it's about two inches thick. So it adds about two more inches to your actual seat. 
So if you have one of those seats that's like very bolstered, you know, the vehicle, and we're talking about vehicle seats right now because we're in a vehicle. If you have one of those very highly bolstered seats and you put this thing on it, it's gonna give you two, it's gonna push you forward two more, about two more inches. Could be a little bit more than two inches because of the way it's shaped and its thickness. So keep that in mind. So that when it comes to the part that your actual butt sit on, on your chair, imagine being, too, you know, that much more forward, closer to the steering wheel. So you're probably gonna end up adjusting your seat using this. You're gonna probably pull your seat back a little bit more, I'm, I'm assuming if you have your, you know, the chair in your vehicle set the way you like it comfortably, you may have to move it back a few inches so that you can kind of get that same distance that you want from your steering wheel and stuff like that. This thing is for people who want to, basically, you want to improve the positioning of your back. If you think you're too slouchy or you lean, you know, some people lean too far back. And by the way, if you're one of those people who like to lean back in your seat, this thing's just not going to work for you. This is for people who like to sit upright or near upright. You could probably go at a little bit more of a, uh, you know, 98, 100 degree angle or whatever like that. But the closer you are to 90 degrees as far as seating position goes, the more comfortable this thing's going to be and the more effective it's going to be. I just don't see this being very effective. You're one of those people that like to lean back in your seat and do all that. It's not going to be for you. Uh, you can try it, but it's, I don't see it working properly the way it's designed to. It's pretty much designed to make your back straight the way it should be. You know, uh, the good things about that is when, as you get older, if you are not already older, uh, it helps your posture, you, you know, less chances of getting back pains, just, it, just little things like that. You see, this is what these things are good for. If you are older and you want to have something like this, because maybe you have little pains in your back, which by the way, during my breaking period, I did experience a little bit of back straining, like a little bit of pain. I won't even call it pain. I call it stress on my back just a little bit because I, I believe it's because I'm not, I haven't been sitting properly all this time. So now you finally have something that forces your body to, to, to be positioned the way it should be in the first place. And so your, your, you know, your back has to adjust to it. So now it doesn't hurt anymore. I don't have any more back pains, but it was like after about three and a half, almost a whole month that I've had it, where I stopped feeling any stress in my back anymore. So if you guys have this and you start, oh, my back is hurting, give it time. This is basically, to me, this is all my opinion now. I'm not a freaking doctor. I don't know 100%. That must think it was loud. It's not, I'm, not a, I'm not a doctor, so this is not 100%. It's just it's me. I'm like a little critical thinker sometimes. Um, your back, is, it has to readjust to sitting normal, to being positioned the way it's supposed to be. That's all it is. You're, you're trying to live through that. And then eventually your back and your muscles in your back and everything will reconform itself to the way it's supposed to if you keep using this thing and you'll be fine again. So that's another thing I said I experienced I was bad. The good things is it does get comfortable. Like I said, after a while of using it, it starts getting comfortable. And then you're like, oh wow, this feels kind of good. And I don't know if it feels good guys. Like when you, when you have it positioned properly, like I said, if you have it, following the contours of your actual seat in your car. This thing will, um, and you sit, you, you'll feel it, you know? You guys have to like, when you get this thing, you have to like move around a lot and, and, and get a feel, feel how it's supposed to be on your back. Get that, make it seat in your back and then memorize that and, and like tighten it. Like I told you, if it gets loose, tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. And make sure that when you finally get it tight the way you need it to be, it's, 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 it's positioned where it needs to be at. All right, usually I found the best way is to the shape of your back, the arch of the back part of your um, the seat that you're gonna actually mount it to, like in your car and stuff like that. Make it match that and you'll be good to go. Um, so I highly recommend it. Like I said, I'm sorry, I don't have any discount codes or whatever for it, but if you look up Tall Guy Car Reviews, uh, he does have a video in there. He's got a lot of videos. He have a video in there. Shout out to him, by the way, for you know, me even seeing this to know that this thing even exists because, you know, for me, this is an investment for the future, you know, for my back, you know, sitting properly that way. I'm not walking, leaning forward. I don't have this hunch in my back or anything like that. If you're older, like I said, this thing is going to be good for you also because if you have back pains, maybe it's because your back's not right. Maybe your back's position, your back's not um, postured the way it's supposed to be. So it's just stress. Um, there was something else I wanted to say about this thing. This is another theory of mine, right? I'm just thinking now, guys, I'm just thinking. If you have any other thoughts about it, put it in the comments below. I think the more worn your seats are, the better this thing's gonna work. And that's almost common sense because it's just, 
if your seats, if the bolster in your seats is worn out and you put this thing on it, you'll basically be sitting the way you probably should have been sitting or the way the seat would have been, you know, the, the amount of plush the seat would have been giving you if the vehicle was brand new. Just, maybe if your vehicle's old, you know, I'm assuming only old vehicles are going to have very worn down seats like that to the point where this thing's going to stick out enough to make the seats almost as if it was all original again, you know. Um, you can, like I said, you can put this on anything, office chairs, cars, uh, gaming chairs. You know, if you're one of those people that sit down a lot, this is it, man. This thing is good. You know, like I said, it's good for your back. You know, you, you don't want to grow up and be hunched over. Like I said, I've been sitting wrong my whole life. Sometimes I'm in the car and I'm leaning more to one side when I, I kind of should be sitting straight like this. You know, you want your back to be, just have that posture. With this thing on, it'll basically guide your back and, and, and positioning it you know, to where it should be in the first place. So, uh, a great investment, guys. Good holiday gift, good birthday gift. So if you guys are thinking about, oh man, what can I get my husband or my wife, or whoever, you know, if they sit a lot, this will make a good uh, holiday gift. Um, but yeah, you guys go on and get you some. It's called a back shield, back shield, like a Spartan's shield. And uh, try it out. I think it'll make a good gift. It's older, younger, doesn't matter. It's just good for your back in general, you know? So I think that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to put a vid quick video on this out there. Um, like and subscribe, you know, you know the drill, you know the drill. I have, I was thinking about doing a holiday gift video. Uh, if you wanna see something like that, comment below. I'll take some of the key things that I have in my possession that I may have may not have made a video on before that I think will make great ideas for the holidays or for anyone's birthday. All right, so Jay on the Segway, uh, see you guys later, all right? Peace.